Hey everybody, this is Charles Benoit, and you're with ReggaeSteadySka.com, your number one sauce, source, sauce, source, worldwide for all things ska, reggae, and rock steady. Today, we're here with Duff himself, the one and only Steve Schaefer, author of the new book just released, The Duff Guide to Two-Tone. Steve, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Charles. It's a, it's a real pleasure. I'm a big fan of, of your interviews and your reviews. Um, so thank you. Uh, well, let's talk about your book. It's all about you today. Uh, all right. I got my copy in the mail and I got to tell you, it, you can dip into here. It, it's like a wonderful uh, dipping sauce because I, I remember so many of these articles when they first got published in your blog and reading them again brings me back to that time. Tell us a little bit about the format of the book. Sure, absolutely. Um, yeah, originally, um, well, people have been, to, I, you know, I, I have conversations with all sorts of ska people and over the years um you know when we've had conversations about different things going on and and all the sort of you know i i've, I've been part of or know about a lot of uh, the history of, of ska music so people are always like Wait, you know, i'm just gonna you know, cut in here and say yeah that is the probably most understatement somebody's ever made on this broadcast so but go ahead continue <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, anyway, so people are like, you know, you really should write a book. So, you know, people, people are like, oh, you should write a book about the history of Moon Records, which I may do someday. You should write a book about this, that, that, that and the other thing. Um, and uh, one of my good, uh, good friends, uh, Mark Wasser, Wasserman, has been engaged in this incredible project, uh, this oral history of... Uh, Mark Wasserman. Yeah, Mark Wasserman who's been involved in um, uh, putting together the oral history of the birth of American ska music. And this has been something he's been, he's been interested in the origins of US ska forever. And finally, you know, you know, got a publisher interested and has been putting together this incredible book. And I've read like a chapter or two. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. This is stuff isn't documented. Um, the stories are great. It's a compelling read. So, you know, that got me kind of like, you know, competition going in me, a little healthy competition. I was like, you know what, I really should do something. Um, last fall, I tried to think, I was, I sent out a couple proposals to some publishers about trying to do a massive 400 page book um, that covered like all the reviews I've written over the last 12 years. Now, and I didn't really didn't get much interest in that. Um, so then I was like, you know, sort of like, okay, maybe that didn't work, but let me, you know, there's something there. So let me do this. And I really want to do it. So then I'm like, oh, duh, why not? I've written so much about two-tone, uh, both like reissues of, of releases, um, you know, from that, from that, from that key 1979 to 1981 period, but also in the last, you know, 10 or 12 years, um, so many of the two-tone musicians have released new music and, and put out books and, and film and so, and I've covered a lot of it. So I was like, hey, why not put this together? Um, and it serves as this, you know, really great overview of two-tone that doesn't end in 81, but continues up to 20. There's, I actually have a review in there from 20, from this year um, with Rhoda Dakar uh, released uh, a single with uh, dub pistols, which is, a, a, it's incredibly good. And it's legitimately like a, it, it has the two-tone sound. So it's, it's paying attention uh, to what's been going on over all this time. And then sort of putting all that together and saying like, hey, you know, you may have missed these things, but if you love, if you love the specials or the selector or, you know, the body snatchers or, or madness, um, they've been putting out all this stuff you know, over the last 10 years, that's incredible and as, is relevant and is connected to what, you know, you loved back uh, in 79, but it's current and still, you know, it's, it's worth paying attention to. And you really, um, there has been some coverage of it um, in some of the music magazines in the UK, like Mojo and Viva Rock and uh, Record Collector, you know, occasionally cover, you know, those bands and do features on new stuff. But there's nothing sort of like that puts it all together, that puts the story together and kind of creates, you know, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a book of reviews, but it also really sort of, as you, as you read a lot of it, it's really sort of, you know, extending the history of two-tone up to the present. Right, that's one, that's one thing I want to make sure people get. When you see this, don't think that it's a, it's a history piece. That it's, right. it's just about stuff that took place then. That you say in your introduction um, that you didn't really come to two-tone or ska until 
the specials were wrapping up. And right. so everything that's in this book, yes, there are reissues of the classic stuff, but mostly right. what is most exciting is that you've covered these bands and continue to show how they've grown as artists and released what we were just saying, some of their best music ever. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, I, th you know, there, and, and to speak to that point, um, you know, you have, you know, new records from, um, I mean, Ranking Rogers record uh, just before he, that was released, Public Confidential, just before his death, is incredible. It's an yeah. incredibly good record. Um, so, you know, I've, I've covered that. Madness has been releasing incredible records for the last decade that, you know, have been getting, have been fairly high profile in, in England, but not so much here. And I mean, I, I think of, um, if, if, if people haven't checked out like the Liberty of Norton Fulgate, oh. <laughs> oh my God, it's like, it's a concept album yeah. that's about the history of this one little neighborhood in, in London that essentially was, uh, you know, there's this community that formed outside the gates the of London on a yeah. garbage heap. Um, that was basically where like immigrants uh, would, you know, new immigrants would settle there. It was basically a, p a place for like the outcasts and the, the, know, their nine minute people song. That, that nine yeah. minute song is just from top to bottom one of the most interesting things any of these bands recorded and it, it does have ska elements but it has so much yeah. more so much more like and like they've always done but it's incredible i mean it's this um i i love it subs i i, I think it was in the liner notes he quote his quote is essentially that it's like you take that part of london and do an x-ray down through all the age mm -hmm. all the layers all the you know the history of, of that place and essentially that whole album is a this incredible endorsement of multiculturalism of yes. diversity and how you know that place the history of that place um because proper society sort of left it alone um it you know it flourished it became a place for true freedom and, and, and where no, people could be themselves but yeah that's only just one yeah. of the articles in here you've got yes. 70 plus different articles and each one of them uh, your, your blog post and uh, that people love going to there because it's, it's not a snippet review that gives it right. four stars and moves on. You take right. the time, you often quote at length lyrics from bands that we've never heard of. Uh, you take controversial stands, you're willing to get very political, and I think that's what right. makes a good reading. And there's 70 plus pieces like that in here. When you were going through here and putting this together, was there a, a review or a piece that you wrote and you said, wow, I forgot about that. That was just awesome. Um, not, maybe, there, maybe not your writing. Yeah. Let me say the writing was obvious, yeah. but was there a, something that re you reviewed that you said was awesome? I mean, I, it's funny because, um, but, you know, putting it all together, um, th there are, it's funny because I, I so, um, I'm constantly sort of digesting you know, new, you know, new, new music and all this, all this stuff. So you'd really do sort of forget like, you know, what you covered and how deep it is. And, and actually, to be honest, there are times when I'm, you know, when I'm reviewing something new from a, a band that I've covered in the book, I oftentimes go back to my review because I'm like, Oh God, I wrote that. That's, that's great. I forgot I wrote that. Um, so, and that's, that sounds kind of bizarre, but it's like, there's so much, um, there's so much going on and there's so much, you know, there's, there's so many like things to peel away um, with so many of these records because they are, I'm, I am, as you just mentioned, I'm really interested in, um, you know, what, you know, what was the mindset, what was going on in the band's minds when they were, you know, writing these songs and, and putting the album together and what is the context and, and a lot of the, you know, a lot of people want to shy away from it, but a lot of, a lot of, uh, certainly all the, a lot of the two tone, two, two tone music is very political. Yeah. Um, yeah. there's yeah. a socialist message in a lot of the special songs that they're very upfront about. Um, and so I think it's really important and particularly the, I mean, the anti-racist message, um, right. is incredibly powerful and very prominent and, you know, it, one of the main things. So you have to talk about it. Um, and it's and it's what drew me and many other people to, um, you know, to the the you know to the music. Um, and, and, now, and so yeah. to that, we got to get to the most important question because people they're gonna you, there's so much to read. 
where can people get this book right oh. now? You can get the book right now. Um, it's, um, I know it's, it's, it's sort of, I've done a deal with the devil. It's, it's available through Amazon um, and it's Amazon's, uh, yeah, I know. It's Amazon's print on demand service. Right. Um, so actually anytime, anytime, thank you, that's great. Anytime you order it, they will print out your own individual copy. And to be honest, it's, a, it's amazing. I mean, they do a really good job. Yeah. You would not know it was, you know, individually printed um well they, they, got my, they got my special code i always use i always i refer to myself to my friends as isbn and they have me down here by my number it's very cool yeah yes so it's 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 you know so it's um it actually works out i, I make a, a you know not a huge amount i make a little bit of, of money off of each copy but they get it out there it's available worldwide yeah. um That's and honestly i don't have to put up thousands of dollars up front to do a press run and then mail well, them all out so what people Amazon. need to do is they, they need Amazon.com. Get this book right away, folks. It's one of those kind of things that you, you, you can read it in order. I don't. I'm jumping around from chapter to chapter and page to page and album to album. And it's also the kind of thing that you make sure you either have your, your turntable handy or your music source handy because as uh, Steve goes through and talks about the books, you're going to want to listen to them again. So, Steve, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Again, my name is Charles Benoit for ReggaeSteadySka.com. See you here again real soon.